Hello, welcome to Short Observer Classes. So this question is from ISI MSTAT 2022. So the question six. So let a b be a pair of real numbers. So consider the function. So f x is given, which is as minus of a x minus b if x is less than minus less than equal to minus 1 a square x a square plus b if this x value ranges between this minus 1 less than x less than equal to 1 and it will be 5 x square plus 1 if x is greater than 1 so we have to find for how many distinct pairs a and b is the function f will be continuous everywhere so f is continuous if and only if this f of minus 1 1 equal to f of minus 1 plus and one condition is f of 1 plus should be equal to f of 1 minus now from the function if we put this x equal to 1 so we will get x equal to minus 1 for the first condition so we will have a x uh, it will not be so x equal to minus 1 so we will have a minus b equal to a square plus b and from the second and third equation we have 5 plus 1 is equal to a square plus b right so from here we can write that a minus b is equal to 6 equal to a square plus b okay so from here we can write that a equal to b plus 6 and a square plus b equal to 6 so put the value of a over here so we will have b plus 6 whole square plus b equal to 6 so we will have from here b square plus 12b plus 36 plus b equal to 6 so simplifying the equation we will have b square plus 13b plus 30 equal to 0 so from here we will find the b from here the roots of the equation so it will be minus 13 plus minus root over 169 minus 120 divided by 2 okay so from here we will get b is equal to minus 13 plus minus 7 is 49 so it is divided by 2 so here we have b two values of b one is minus 3 another is minus 10 so if we so what will be the value of a so a will be 3 minus 4 so distinct values of a comma b it will be so first is 3 so it will be first will be 1 point will be 3 minus 3 and minus 4 comma minus 10 so exactly 2 So as to how many distinct pairs of a and b is the function f continuous everywhere so the correct option is b exactly question number seven so uh, consider a continuous function f which is in the closed interval minus one to one onto r which is this uh, differentiable everywhere in the interval in the open interval minus one comma one so further suppose that a of minus 1 is given as minus half and the second condition is f prime x is less than 
equal to 1 for all x in the interval minus 1 comma 1 so we have to find the which of the following statement is false okay. we know that from the fundamental theorem of calculus fundamental theorem of calculus we have f of 1 minus of f of minus 1 is equal to integral minus 1 to 1 f prime x dx ok so we can write also this f of 1 is will be f of minus 1 plus integral minus 1 to 1 f of prime x dx Now, if we put the value of f of minus 1 is given, so it is minus half f of minus 1 value is given, so it is minus half plus, so it will be integral minus 1 to 1 dx, because we have the value, so minimum value is 1, so the maximum value is 1, so f of prime x is given as less than or equal to minus 1. So, uh, if we do the integration, so it is simple, mi minus of half plus of 1 minus minus 1, which is nothing but this 2 minus of half, so which is 3 by 2, so which is less than 2. So, from the option, we can find the correct one. So, uh, which of the following statement is false? So, the option is telling that if 1 can be greater than 2 which is false in our case so f1 we have 3 by 2 which is less than 2 so the false option is option a